What's up, traders? Zach here from the Trading Network. Hope you guys are doing well. Uh, this is going to be a video, again, from the TTN Community Request Playlist, but this is going to be more about the use of NinjaTrader, I suppose you could say, uh, than trading itself. So this is a request by one of our longtime members, Q, and he is asking how to use the strategy analyzer more specifically to optimize an algorithm. Now, I am probably going to make uh, more than one video on this topic because there are a several different types of optimizations for uh, algorithms or strategies in NinjaTrader. And uh, they are all fairly in depth in regards to what you can do with them, the details, the parameters, etc. So I'm going to do my best to uh, make some brief videos explaining a how to use a strategy analyzer and you know how to use these different types of optimizations and uh, what they mean. So we are going to start out very simply. I'm actually going to just pull up the sample, one of these sample strategies. Let's do the sample MA crossover. You guys will have this uh, built in to Ninja as well, so you can follow along here. And I'll just go and kind of explain all of these different parameters that are offered. Basically, uh, what this does is once you have a strategy created, you can uh, code it from scratch, you can hire somebody, you can put it together in the strategy builder, which I will make another video on. But once you have a strategy in NinjaTrader, you can then run optimization on the strategy. And what that means is essentially you can select a range of parameters or different parameters and you can have the program run a bunch of different tests seeing, for instance, which would be the best stop loss and take profit for this strategy. So for instance, you can see here that I have a fast and slow parameter for the moving averages, right? So this is basically saying, I want to run a simulation and test. If I were to select one here, and then one here, this is basically saying, I wanna test all of the fast moving averages anywhere from a one EMA to a 10 EMA. And I wanna test the slow moving averages anywhere from a one EMA to a 25 EMA. So this optimization will basically do a test for each combination of these moving averages ranging from one to 10. So it will start with you know, a fast EMA of one and a slow EMA of one and test that. We'll start with a fast EMA of one and a slow EMA of two and test that. A fast EMA of one and a slow EMA of three, etc. And it'll run through all of those numbers and crunch all of those numbers and then spit out data that will show you which is the most profitable, etc. And you can select what to optimize on down here. So a lot of people will opt optimize for maximum net profit. So let's just go ahead and click that. And I'm going to move this a little bit so you guys can see all of these parameters. Um, but let's go ahead and try to run one of these. Let's just do it on, see if it'll work for one month of data. So we're going to select the instrument here. You can just run it on NQ. I'm going to run it on the 377 tick. And these are a lot of different parameters here, which you can experiment with and learn more about. Um, but generally speaking, you know, if you have a strategy that you've built yourself, you'll, you'll have your own custom parameters like stop loss and take profit and things of that nature. So you'll have more granularity or a larger selection especially if you're working with a strategy that you have built yourself because you can edit all of these parameters. And by edit, I mean create anything that's on the left side of here. So you'll notice how on this sample MA crossover, there is no stop loss or take profit. But if I go to a custom one here, boom, here's one that I customized where I can choose to optimize on a stop loss and take profit, right? So this is basically saying, and this is based on ticks. So I want a minimum of you know 10 ticks take profit and a maximum of 30 and a minimum of 10 ticks stop loss and a maximum of 30. 
right? So then it's going to run optimizations between a stop loss and take profit of 10 and 30 ticks, and it's going to tell me which is the best one. So I'll actually go ahead and run it on this one so I can show you guys here. So let's see if this works. Go ahead and click run. It shows down here the amount of iterations, and depending on your parameters, depending on what you've selected, it could take a long time or it could be very quickly. So I will go ahead and abort this, and I know that the uh, fill resolution, if that's set to high, that takes uh, significantly longer. So let's change that, and you can see how much faster it's running now. So another thing to keep in mind is some of these parameters um, toggled certain ways will definitely make your optimization take a long time to run. So I just changed that uh, order fill resolution to be extremely clear here, which is right here. So I, it was on high, and I changed it to standard, which is the fastest. So just to give you guys an idea here, this is a very simple example of how this strategy analyzer will optimize one of your strategies. And I'm not going to get into exactly what this strategy does, uh, but you can see that it is based off of a 377 EMA. And you can see that the most uh, profitable parameters here was a take profit of 23 ticks and a stop loss of 30. And you can see that that had a 1.12 performance ratio with a total net profit of $3,569 uh, in one month. You know, so not bad, not great. Obviously, this isn't anything special. I'm not really worried about the parameters. I'm just giving you guys an example in this video on what optimization is, how you can start to use it, and how you can start to use it to fine-tune your strategies. So um, you can go in, just like a trade performance report, and see the analysis of each and every single one. You know, not a, not a bad equity curve over a month. And you can see that they do vary, right? I'm double clicking and I'm changing which one I'm looking at. So this one actually took some drawdown. This is the first one that actually went negative in the account. That one got close on that same day. That one also, not too bad. So all of these, you know, were profitable. Did I include commission? Yep, I did indeed. So you can see how much data you can gather. Now you have daily data, so how much cumulative net profit that the algorithm made each day. So you can see here that the uh, cumulative net profit weekly on this particular one goes from 1370, 1484, made $1,000 the third week, lost 371 the fourth, netting $2,113.36. I'll go back to that first one. You can see that uh, net profit for the week on the third week was actually the only negative week on that first one. So really not too shabby at all, uh, especially for something, you know, just pulling it up and, and running a quick optimization. And you want to make sure, especially when you have a, a good strategy that you're ready to optimize, that you are recording your tests, you're recording your variables. And you can actually share these windows. You can share the tab contents, you can share the window as well. You can print this information, you can export it. So I would highly recommend, especially for those of you guys that are working on creating and fine tuning your own algorithms, uh, make sure that you are recording your data because it's very frustrating to find something that works and then not remember the parameters that you set for it or not remember you know, the optimizations that you were doing so you could find those higher probability or those better parameters for your algos. Uh, so make sure that you are you know, recording your a data when you are testing as well. Uh, but that is basically the gist of it. You know, you can go and you can see every single individual trade. You can go to the chart and you can see exactly which trades the algo took. All right. Click along, stopped out. And you can go and you can see exactly where they entered, where they exited, all that good stuff. So I would highly, highly recommend if you guys are interested in algorithmic trading to experiment with this stuff. Uh, please let me know if you have any questions. Please comment down below 
uh, if you have any ideas for other videos, uh, both algorithmic wise or strategy analyzer wise, strategy builder, um, all of this stuff is very, very interesting. And it's something that can provide you a different type of edge once you already have a successful and a profitable strategy. So I hope this video has been informative. Uh, I will go through some of the other optimizations like a walk forward optimization, the multi-objective optimization, and the AI generative, which is uh, very, very cool, but it takes a lot of processing power. So these will be things that we will talk about in the very near future. Uh, I hope that this was helpful once again. Uh, I hope that the uh, new mic is helping with the audio quality. I know the last couple of videos were a little bit weird. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Appreciate you guys for being a part of the trading network. Thank you very much for taking the time to watch this content. And I will see you in the next video.